Hi, I'm Chris Hira with YSI, and I want to tell you about a new product we have from YSI. It's a Castaway CTD. Everything you need for the Castaway CTD is in this little box that we have here. We provide with the instrument. The Castaway is a castable CTD. It measures conductivity, temperature, depth, salinity, and also it gives you a speed of sound calculation. The unit is self-contained. It has all the sensors plus a built-in GPS unit. So every one of your casts is georeferenced. So inside the box, you start out with everything you need to get going. You have this handy pack here with the memory stick that has all the software on it, the Bluetooth modem, which is a USB modem, spare batteries. You have carabiners that go on the top and the bottom of the instrument, on the top for putting your, your line for retrieving it after you cast it, and on the bottom if you want to add some weight to have it fall a little faster. And then of course you have a maintenance kit for your sensors, brushes and, and lubricant and O-rings. We also have stylus in the box that's on a lanyard. It's a magnetic tip stylus and it's what controls the instrument. We have a spare one if you're like me and you lose it. And actually we have a third one that's actually down in the bottom of the instrument. This is the Castaway CTD itself. You can see it's very self-contained. This is all you need to get conductivity, temperature, depth, salinity, and sound speed calculation along with the GPS. The instrument sits inside this rubber boot and down at the bottom is the battery compartment and it runs off of two AA batteries and there's that third stylus I was just telling you about. When you put the batteries in, the unit's actually going to power up all on its own the first time. Slide that back into the boot there, and I'll show you what the actual unit looks like. Line it up. <laughs> I can never quite get it lined up. All right, there we go. So if you can uh, take a look here at the screen, I'll show you what the different icons are in the screen. Up at the very top, that icon indicates that that button is for the power. Then you have your satellite icon. You have a folder icon which tells you that uh, the status of how full your file folder is. Green is good. And a battery indicator. Again, green is good. Then we have the four main icons of the unit. We have the castaway, uh, the cast icon, which is for doing your cast. We have the file icon, which is where you would view files that you've already done. You have the point measurement icon, which is where you would take point measurements, say the castaway at a single depth, where you want to get a bunch of measurements at a single depth, and then information about the system itself. So if I go ahead and just show you how a cast would work, we don't have a good GPS fix at the moment because I haven't let it sit long enough, but if I just start that mode, if you let this sit here for a few minutes, it's going to get a GPS fix, and after it gets the first GPS fix, it's very quick to get secondary GPS fixes. You have an indication of how many satellites you have, and once you have good uh, signal strength and satellites, you'll get the laden long. This button will turn green and you can start your cast. And this screen just tells you that after about five seconds the screen's going to go away. And at this point I would simply chuck the thing over the side as long as I've tied a rope to it so I can retrieve it. Once, I, once it hits the bottom and I pull it back up, I just hit this button here to stop it. And that laden long screen is going to come up again and it's going to get an ending GPS fix for the cast. And I can simply stop the cast once I have a GPS fix. And if I want to view a secondary cast, I have this I or if I want to view a cast I just made, I have this icon here, which will show me the, the charts for the different parameters. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down to one where I actually have some data. And we'll get in there in a minute. Those are from point measurements where it said temperature. And here we go. You can see the temperature profile. This is over a depth of about 30 meters. And if I scroll over, You'll see there's the conductivity profile, the salinity profile, and finally the sound speed profile in meters per second. And I can scroll back to the main screen and you can see this one actually had GPS coordinates. If I go back out to the home screen, I can view some of that same information if I were to go over to this icon. And then again, if I wanted to take point measurements, I could simply do that with this icon. All the data is stored on the unit. It has a 15 meg recorder. Uh, which is enough for like 700 casts and you download all the data into your laptop with the Bluetooth connection using that Bluetooth modem that I showed you. So what I'd like to do is go over to the computer, we'll download some of the data, we'll take a look at that cast we just so saw we're on the screen our so you can see and we're just going to insert like. our USB modem, the one that came with the castaway. It's going to load up the drivers and it's going to allow us to communicate with the castaway and download data off it. So I have the castaway sitting over here next to me. Bluetooth range is about 100 meters but I have it right next to me and the unit is on. So if I go over to devices we'll see that I have the, the device up. This is the Castaway CTD 
That's the serial number of the model I have. You can see my battery life is about 100% and my memory is about 96% uh, free. I have 26 files on here at the moment. And then there's some general settings as far as battery type, language, etc. So if I go back to the actual data, as I said, the data I collected today wasn't very good because we didn't have a good GPS fix, but I'll show you some data from a previous cast. So we use a map-based interface that shows you where in the world all of your uh, casts are, are collected. The dot with the number inside of it represents the number of valid casts that have GPS coordinates. So you can see at the moment I have nine on this unit. And I'm just zooming into the Chesapeake Bay here in Maryland. And I have one point down here in, uh, near the mouth of the Potomac, but we're just going to zoom in all the way up here. These are over on the eastern shore near Oxford, Maryland. And actually, let me go back to this point on the Potomac because I think that's a pretty good cast. So if I click on the dot, you can see now that I have my casts over here. At the moment, I'm displaying density and sound velocity, but I can certainly change these. I can change this one to temperature if I want, and I can change this one to salinity. And that's all well and good. It's really nice. It's a quick way to display the data. If I had multiple casts, so let me just zoom up on the, uh, on the screen here to the other location and click on this dot, you can see that all three of those casts from that point are displayed simultaneously. But I think some of the real power in the software is exporting the data into a usable format. So I can click on export files and you can see here in, under export I have a variety of options. I have comma separated value. I also have a high pack option and a MATLAB option as well as castaway option if you want to bring the data back into castaway. Most people I think are going to do the comma separated values with the info header which is going to give them that starting lat and long and the ending lat and long position. You can select which parameters you want to export. Pressure, depth, temperature, conductivity, specific conductance, salinity, sound velocity, and density. And we can export all of that to a file. We'll just export that out to my desktop. And that's going to open natively in Excel because it's a CSV file. So if I just minimize this for a minute and I come over to the file I've just created. Hopefully that's the right one. I don't think it is, but that's okay. This will illustrate the purpose. I have a variety of information in the header, the device name, the date of the cast, the default latitude, the starting coordinates, the ending coordinates, and there you can see all of the profile data as the castaway goes down to the bottom. In this case, uh, this export that I've done was only the downcast. You can also export the upcast only or the down and the upcast. And that's pretty much all there is to it. It's a really simple unit and um, everything you have is right here in this one yellow box.